On a recent visit to Oracle's headquarters, I was able to uh, take some time and talk to Phil Bullinger, who is the SVP of storage. Now, specifically, we talked about ZFS, but I was interested in terms of Oracle's commitment, why they're committed to storage, a little bit about, obviously, the future of the product and of IT in general, and about things that are helping and hindering him in his job. Storage in and of itself is a great market, and you know it's an attractive uh, area of you know the IT infrastructure for the company to be competing in. But more importantly, if you look at what Oracle strives to deliver to customers, an integrated value proposition from application to to business value and time to value, storage is such an integral part of that. The the performance, the efficiency of storage, uh, plays a huge role in how the value of an application, a, a CRM solution, a, a database solution, the value that brings to an enterprise is is either enabled or hindered by uh, the performance and the efficiency of the underlying storage. And so much of our engineering is going into um, integrating applications and storage together, uh, delivering what we believe a better customer value proposition, a better customer experience. Um, if you look at our engineered systems, which is you know sort of the hallmark of, of uh, the company's engineered together strategy of hardware and software together, um, storage plays an integral part of the value proposition of those platforms. If you look at Exadata, Exalogic, our standalone storage systems like ZFS, uh, the underlying storage architecture is fundamental to our ability to deliver that value to customers. So um, the strategy, uh, the, the focus of on storage for the company is is very important because uh, storage plays such an important role in delivering application value to customers. Let me focus in on the ZFS storage appliance. It's it's the business that you know we're we're doing very well with. It's a fast growing business, and there are some core success factors associated with that. Um, we're we've been very f uh, focused on a strategy in ZFS of Oracle integration, performance, and efficiency. And let me kind of unpack what those mean a little bit. Um, We've integrated uh, a lot of Oracle integration attributes into the ZFS storage appliance, which you know, customers relying on Oracle software look at the ZFS appliance as a very attractive storage solution underneath the software, either because of dynamic provisioning and orchestration, um, the efficiency of, of the platform, the performance of the platform with Oracle software. Um, so that's been one of our success factors, I believe, is is uh, the, the integration of our storage with our software. Um, apart from that, and, and also you know, adding to that, is certainly um, the performance of the platform. So the, the other attribute is we see a lot of companies looking at moving from SAN to NAS architectures, uh, wanting to simplify their, their infrastructure, uh, lower their management costs, uh, reduce both CapEx and OpEx in doing that. In the past, you know, some of the hesitancy has been that NAS has not performed at the same level as SAN. And, uh, with especially the ZFS storage appliance, we're seeing today that we can we can largely replace that SAN infrastructure and actually improve the performance uh, for the customer at the same time. So, uh, customers looking at at improving their the, the performance of their storage layers, uh, while also reducing cost, uh, has been another you know strong uh, sales play for us in the field. The other one is uh, efficiency, and by efficiency we mean uh, not only storage capacity efficiency, such as what we do with our hybrid columnar compression. Um, but the efficiency of managing the storage, you know, a, an easy to use user interface, and even more importantly, applications that dynamically tune uh, the storage, uh, reducing the OPEX requirements and, and the expertise requirements to do that. Um, also, our analytics. Our analytics uh, give a very fine level of granularity uh, to IT administrators and their ability to understand how their data center is performing, all the way from the storage layer, all the way up through the stack. Um, the, the time to diagnose issues, uh, identifying issues before they come problem before they become problems in the data center. Those are core characteristics of our analytics that um, uh, we think drive a lot of value and, and pull a lot of customers to the product. So th the other question you ask is, is also very important, right? Which is what's, what's sort of throttling the business? And I think for us it's primarily a matter of just expanding the reach of our, our sales organization so we're competing in more deals. Um, we have a very high close rate, uh, a very successful POC track record with the platform. Uh, for us, it's a matter of scaling the business. We're scaling engineering, we're scaling sales, uh, we're scaling the reach of the business. And you know, for Throttle today, it's just our ability to to touch more deals. So okay. clearly, there's going to continue to be advancements in uh, in the hardware layers of storage. You know, we'll see. Uh, larger disk drives, we'll see faster disk options, we'll see flash and what replaces flash over the next five to ten years. And, and we would expect all those technology transitions to occur. Faster processors, 
Um, and, and, and those are natural, and they have been occurring, and they will continue to occur. But I think where the, the real dynamics uh, in, in storage and what's going to change a lot in the next five to 10 years is the shift in focus from um, storage as, you know, as, as a, a separate and distinct tier of infrastructure to uh, tightly integrated with the applications. You know, there's, um, if there's one industry that loves buzzwords, it's, uh, it's ours, right? Cloud, and now we have software-defined storage. I actually think as we look forward, we're going to be dealing with you know, what I would call application-defined storage, which is um, a, a seamless, uh, cohesive, intimate relationship between the application stack, the, the applications, the middleware, the database, and the underlying storage. And so what we're striving to uh, execute on is uh, a future state where uh, the vast majority of all stor storage-related planning, orchestration, deployment, tuning, provisioning, ongoing management, um, a seamless, holistic uh, software revision control is managed from an application layer. So uh, as an organization thinks about uh, everything from business continuity to data protection, uh, disaster recovery, those functions will be enabled that primarily out of the application layer uh, with a very dynamic real-time communication with, with the storage layer. The storage layer will get faster, it'll scale wider, we'll, we'll, you know, you'll see different architectures show up certainly. Uh, to expand for that. But I think the biggest change is going to be this, this incessant march towards improving TCO, reducing OPEX costs, improving time to value by having storage more and more tightly coupled to uh, the business applications that enterprises depend on.